Awe, awe. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Welcome to another awesome tutorial. How's the, how's the lighting, by the way? Is it better? Because I've noticed last week, I don't know, for some reason. Uh, but not for some reason, I was actually just a bit lazy. I, I didn't put up, you know, this big light. As you can see, the reflection in the painting, that's the big light that, that I'm using currently. And last week, I was using this small light. Uh, I, I was just a bit lazy to put to put up the slide. But anyway, I apologize for that. I'm sure you guys will agree with, with, with me that the lighting is quite better. We'll get into lighting, um, you know, some other videos. So we'll get into, into more details about lighting. All right, so but this week, we're gonna focus on green screen removal in 2023. Before we do, let's roll the intro. Welcome back. All right, I've got a clip here. It's a short clip. This is from a music video that I shot for a very close friend of mine, Dr. Martin Fivers. And we're gonna use this clip to demonstrate how we remove green screen in DaVinci Resolve 18. Um, we've done green screen removal in DaVinci Resolve, you know, quite, uh, quite a number of years back. Um, I think that that time it was still DaVinci Resolve 15 or 16, but now we are on DaVinci Resolve 18. So things have changed a little bit. So if you check that video, I'll put it up here somewhere. Click on it and you will see exactly what I'm talking about. So let's jump right into it. So obviously the first thing that you want to do, you want to go to your color page. Then we can also do this in Fusion. Fusion is very similar to um, Adobe After Effects. For those who are using Adobe, um, I can see, I don't know if you've seen on YouTube, all the content, most of the content creators are now moving towards DaVinci Resolve. It's the new standard, guys. It's the new standard. So, get yourself the studio version of DaVinci Resolve. All right, let's get into it. Click on your color page, all right? So, I think we're gonna, we're gonna rock with this, with this scene over here, all right? First thing that you want to do, obviously, I've, I've already selected this one, but I mean, if I take this off, um, you just select, um, you know, right click and then you select add alpha output and this will pop up over here, right? And you just link the two, right? And then what you're going to do is you're going to head over to your qualifier over here, click on it. You see these four tabs over here. The one that you want to select is this one that says 3D. So you select that one, right? First thing I normally do is I take my D-spell over here all the way up to 100. So what that basically does is it takes away, you know, any green spell that you might find on your talent or whatever, uh, it eliminates that absolutely and completely. So, do that first, right? And then I want to head over to these tabs over here. And the one that I like to select is the plus, right? So this one allows me to draw lines and you will see what it does if I draw lines over here. All right, so now you can see, it takes away all that. Let me just hide this background over here. It takes away all that skunk or any black that you see in your footage. You don't want that. So you just want to take that away. Just be very careful that you do not draw any lines over your talent because then you're going to run into some issues. So I'm just going to do it like that. All right. And just draw lines. Don't be scared to draw lines, guys. Even if you draw lines over lines, it doesn't really matter as long as you do not draw lines over your talent. All right, and we're just gonna do that, take it all the way, all the way. Until you find that your background is, you know, like, if you draw the line, you'll see it's pure white. It should be pure white. Even if I do, if I invert it over here, right? It should be black black there should be no white spots coming through the only thing that should be white is your talent right 
So now I'm just gonna head over to my key over here. This is what I also like to do. I like to take my gain of my qualifier all the way up to to, to two, right? Uh, just to make sure everything is white. Okay. And then I'm gonna go back to my qualifier over there, and I'm just gonna enlarge just to see. And now you can see. You got some small, you know, like particles around your talon that you might want to remove. And you can do that if you go over here and you can increase your, you know, let's go to the first tab over there. Increase your clean black a little bit, right? And I want you just to look at what it does to these particles over here if I increase my clean black, right? just a little bit I mean I can even take, just take it up to one I think that's sufficient and it has removed most of it let's take it up a little bit more not too much be very careful I would say let's go up to three yeah I'm happy with that I'm happy with that yeah okay cool and now you can play around with all of these guys if you really want to do something if you want to you know add some blur you can add some blur to it if you really want to do that. If you want to add, you know, just be very careful when you when you play around with these things because you don't want to introduce some other uh, um, some other defects. If you want to add some denoise, uh, look at what it does. If I add too much denoise, you see what it does. So I'm not even going to use a denoise. So you can play around with it, but I think I'm quite happy with the way this looks. All right. Cool, and now I can go back to my edit page. And this background that I've selected over here, remember you have to put this underneath your green screen clip, right? Uh, so I'm just gonna unhide this or enable it. And now you can see, if I go to a full screen, that looks pretty, pretty, pretty sweet, man. Huh? Pretty sweet. I'm very happy with that. I'm very happy with that. And I mean, now even, what you can now do is, if you're done with that, now you can go to your um, your nodes and you can now add serial nodes. And you can you know, go ahead and do your color correction, uh, white balance, whatever it is that you want to do. Um, and now you can grade your footage, right? So that's how simple it is in DaVinci Resolve 18. Um, it's as easy as that, guys. It's as easy as that. So if it is that you want to see some other, other videos or other tutorials, anything in specific that you want me to focus on, whether it's editing, whether it's color grading, anything, please let me know in the comments. Um, I'll, 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 I'll gladly, you know, um, show you guys in terms of how to go about doing whatever it is that you want to know, right? So I enjoyed this. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for, for tuning in. Um, thank you so much for subscribing. Let's grow this channel, guys. I think we really need to push this channel. We, I think we, we are already at 990. And we're not even at, at 1,000 subscribers yet. So if, we can, if you can help me push it up to 1,000, even beyond, I would be so grateful. Um, other than that, please give a thumbs up, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Away.